quick disclaimer before this video starts guys i just want to apologize the audio levels on this video are a little bit off um so my voice isn't quite as loud as i would like it to be in comparison to the bike sounds um just a one-off for this video just teething problems on the new microphone hopefully the actual quality of the voice and such is fine and i will sort out the audio levels for the next video um i hope you enjoy it regardless thanks for watching what's up guys welcome back to another video hope you're all doing well today so the time has finally come where i get to put my new microphone to the test so uh, it's been something i've been going on about for a while now i've always been getting comments about it for the last few months um it's one of them things that uh, when i started off doing this whole youtube thing i really never expected it to take off as well as it has um so that's why i was, I was just using a logitech headset for the longest time and uh, now christmas has uh, has been and gone I finally got a new microphone and I'm hoping that it does make a like a noticeable difference to the quality of the videos and I think it was probably the, the biggest thing that needed changing straight off the bat. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you do actually notice a good difference. I spent maybe half a day or so messing around with different settings to see, uh, see what sounded best and this is kind of what I've got with for the time being. Um, I think I've actually lost my voice a little bit right now, so it won't sound completely normal compared to other videos. The uh, reason I've lost my voice is I've just been driving home for the last five hours. Uh, I've been away uh, for a little while. Um, business as usual for you guys, because I made sure I was, was ahead on videos as much as I could be. Um, however, yeah, I've had a nice, uh, nice few days away from the old YouTubes. Uh, nice time to recover and now we're back we're ready for the new year as well um one thing that i usually wait to the end of the video to ask for but i'll ask now before we we get going into this um is if you are new to the channel and you enjoy what you see here, please do subscribe um because originally at the start of december my goal was to hit 15k by the new year smash that out of the water and then we smashed 16k and at the point i'm recording this i'm recording this on the night of the 29th We've literally got two more days to get about 150 more subs, and I've, it's so doable, it's like so close as well. If I reckon we'd be able to get to 17k uh, by the new year, and that would just be unreal. What an achievement that would be in the short time we've been doing this, so thank you everyone very much for that. So, uh, moving on to the whole concept of this video, uh, my lovely mod, Soru, who's been with me basically since the beginning, um, one of the, uh, the, well, the very first mod that I uh, added to the Discord and the YouTube live streams, etc. Um, he's made me this skin that you see here on the KX85. Uh, now, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's actually called a KX100, and I know people in the comments always say it's a 100. It's not even 100. I was about to say it says 85 near. It's actually a 125 or a, one, a 124. So um, give and take what you want. <laughs> uh, we can probably, we can still call it a 100. Um, I don't think uh, we'll call it a KX125 or 85 anytime soon. But uh, there you go. I really shouldn't have gone back to the pits because now I've got to go all the way back out. Um, but yeah, Sorry made this bike for me. Sent it to me for like a nice Christmas pre uh, present. So shout out to Sorry for that. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope he doesn't mind. I will actually put the link to to the skin for this in the description um if you want the actual uh 85 or i keep saying 85 now if you want the bike itself um i will try and find it if you don't see in the description down below it's somewhere on the mx bikes mods website um, there was a big pack of, of smaller bikes released so you can get them from there um and they're good fun to have a little ref round every now and then i'm sure i've not tried them online at all yet but i'm sure they're they're good fun on multiplayer as well um but yeah thank you thank you sorry for that so now i actually have like a a Muk Creations 80, uh, 85 slash 100, god damn it, done it again, um, compared to just the, the stock one that comes uh, comes with the pack, and it, it, I think it looks really, really good, so uh, thank you for that. The track that I'm on um, is Rube's version of Houston 1. Uh, I thought it would just be, in, I don't know if I've done it yet, I thought it would be a nice idea to try the smaller bike on a normal scale Supercross track. Um, this track, I actually prefer this version of Houston 1 than um, the Aerial, the main version that was raced on, and it's a, it's a shame actually that, that Rube stopped after this, but uh, knowing that man, he is a, a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to his, his creations, so uh, he probably probably got halfway through making round two didn't get the time to finish it completely and didn't want to put anything out half done so it's probably sitting there in his projects folder somewhere waiting to be uh waiting to have the finishing touches done to it and uploaded um i really like the level of detail on the ground stuff i just think it looks really really cool um and i think that's the biggest thing for me um, and, and I, i'm not sure if he made this before or after the real life event however it is different to the other track that we've got in game um and i believe this might be 
this might be identical to the real life layout. I, I think that the aerial track went off the track maps that are released prior to the season starting. Uh, and this, and, and you always get tracks at certain rounds that uh, the layout changes. Um, but I mean, they never stick directly to a track map all the time. Sometimes I, I imagine they build the track in in person in real life, and it doesn't actually end up working how they how they envision it in their head on paper. So uh, that'll probably be why a lot of the tracks end up changing. Um, I'm a little bit. Uh, a little bit rusty right now, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think I've played bikes since the 24th, so I've had maybe a good like four or five days uh, off right now. Always takes me a little bit of uh, a little bit of time to get going, especially um, with the whole uh, rider lean left and right now. Before I used to be able to hop on the game, nice five ten minutes, be back to exactly where I was. The muscle memory kick in, but um, still still learning every single day. Uh, and I think it's quite nice that. Um, I can't just hop on and, and to kind of ride as fast as I want to straight off the bat now. It takes it takes a little bit of time to get going, but um, I'm kind of I'm dedicated to this point, to this whole uh, this whole rider lean thing. I've, I've committed to it. Um, probably should be playing a whole lot more than I am recently, to be honest with you, considering that Supercross is just around the corner. I believe that the first race is on the seventh of January I want to say something around there um, I know for sure that it's on a Friday both the EU and the NA side of things um, I'm well, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do every round purely because they're on Fridays however um, I will try as many as possible um, worst case scenario I can maybe change the days that I go away um, or 100% try and do as many uh, EU rounds as I can. Can't really say the same for NA because you know obviously it does get gets late on in the day, um, and they're on the same day as well. So you might even find from the point of track releases to going through practice, then the EU races, then a little bit of practice in between the EU race and the NA race. You might even be playing bikes for like six, seven hours straight, which uh, which is not a bit of me. I think I get a little bit burnt out after about two hours or so, which is why a lot of my live streams don't go on longer than that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, uh, both so crazy moments there. <laughs> I need to start clipping a bunch of these and just make like a, uh, a compilation. Um, kind of like how, uh, if anybody's watched uh, Reese Cooper's videos, he does the same thing. He just uh, clips a bunch of moments when they happen, stitch them together and put them in a video. And they're always pretty cool to watch. I always enjoy those. Um, but yeah, so uh, this hasn't... I mean, I've crashed a lot. <laughs> I've realised I've crashed a lot in this video. Um, but this hasn't really been too difficult, um, to be honest. I mean... You, you saw when I went back to the pits earlier and had a look at the info there. There is a 125 engine in this bad boy, so it shouldn't be that hard to be getting over all these jumps. It's not like I have actually got 100 or 185 engine. And they're not slow bikes by any means. The only thing that um, is a little bit odd sometimes, I don't know if it's because of the length of them or what, is as you saw there, the turning can be a little bit unpredictable. Uh, and they also love to get uh, up onto the old, uh, the old back wheel as well. They're a little bit, a uh, little bit wild in some instances. They just suddenly suddenly hook up and try and kick you off the back. These whoops are very, very challenging, but I'm just going to throw that out there if you do give that track a go. I think, uh, oh, get over it, get over it. No, oh, okay, that was uh, quiet. Come on, come on. Spear around, and there we go, let's go this way. Right, so, uh, I I'm fully expecting as well, if I, <laughs> I've sat here recording this whole video, I guarantee I'll, I'll go into uh, uh, my ID system, which is uh, DaVinci Resolve, if anyone's asking, it's, it's completely free. Um, tempted to use uh, Premiere Pro at some point, maybe make the transition over to that, um, because I do have access to it, I I'm just kind of, uh, you, know, you know when you get stuck in your ways, you like what you use. Um, it's taken me a couple months just to get used to all of the ins and outs of, of DaVinci Resolve, so <laughs> I don't want to just kind of throw it in the bin, but maybe for the new year I'll try experimenting a little bit on some, some easier videos and see how it goes. Um, one thing that I've been told, which is a pretty big thing, is the actual file size that comes out of uh, Premiere Pro compared to Resolve is a lot smaller, even at the same quality. Um, so when it comes to upload times and things like that, that would really, really help it in, in that regard. And, um, <laughs> My brother, the other day, well, he, he's been ordering PC parts over the last uh, like one or two months or so, uh, and he finally, at, over Christmas as well, got the remainder of his parts and he's put his PC together, and my god, that thing is a machine, and it's made me so jealous, and I just kind of want to go out and spend a stupid amount of money and get a new computer and just go, go to town with it, uh, and just, just make like this absolute weapon of a computer that can just handle anything that I throw at it, you know, go on go on Krakenberg with the highest settings possible and shaders and, and record and talk at the same time and I just, uh, I'm, I so want to get a new PC but I feel like I'm, I'm restraining myself from, from going out and spending that much little uh, little little baby steps, you know, I don't want to go and uh, break the bank, <laughs> I, I think I'll wait a little bit, a little bit longer, get a few more of them YouTube paychecks come in and then, and then I'll go about doing that, I think, um, but uh, yeah, I don't really feel like I've 
spoken a whole lot about what I'm doing this time, which is strange. Um, what, what I will say before I sign off the video is it's more been this has more been a riding talk than anything else, just to really put the new microphone to the test. And um, as, as I said at the start, I am I'm a little bit uh, hoarse at the moment. The voice is a little bit a uh, little bit croaky, a little bit deeper than usual where where I've lost it because I. Uh, I mean, I said I just had a five-hour drive home. I'm not sure if I mentioned the part where I was singing to myself the whole way. I do do like a little sing-song in the car. Uh, jam out. Nobody else can hear you, so why not make a fool of yourself? Um, but, yeah, hopefully tomorrow, day after that, should be good as new. Um, really, really hoping we can get to that 17k mark by the new year. So if you, are, uh, if you aren't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Just go press that one button uh, and drop a like as well. And, uh, yeah, that's the biggest thing for me right now is... Uh, just uh, do leave a comment let me know if you notice a, a good difference in the mic if you so the microphone that i actually have as well uh, in case any of you guys are familiar with mic setups and this and the other it is a shure m7 uh, usb microphone uh, so if you are familiar with that or you know your way around uh, microphones and setups and this that and the other um, do give me any suggestions if there's any ways that i could improve it as i say i spent a good half a day going through all of the shure app uh, like desktop app settings trying to uh, mess around with it a bit make it work as good as I can for me I think I've got to a point now where I've eliminated it, it, it there was one point where it was so sensitive that it was picking up even me changing gear on my controller it was that sensitive it was picking up the clicks and all sorts so I've managed to get rid of that um, so now it should just be my voice it shouldn't be cutting in and out at the start or the end of words like my old uh, Logitech headset was um, and yeah just any, any feedback would be really really appreciated that's that's really the main point in this video I've been testing out the old uh, the old 100 around an actual uh, actual Supercross track so um, thank you Roops for this track I know this track's been out for quite a long time but it's one that I've only only recently discovered I've played it in my uh, thousand hours of MX Bikes video as well very briefly and good fun track go give it a go and then again thank you Solo for for uh, making this skin for me i'll put that down in the description and that'll do it for me hope you guys have a lovely rest of the day whatever it is that you're up to and until i catch you guys in the next video peace